Let's apply the find s algorithm on our wine competition data set. So in our algorithm at first we have to start with the maximally specific hypothesis. And this means that we set our theta to the falsy here, which means that we do not accept any configuration. In our first iteration of the algorithm, we go to example 1, and we now determine our value of y, which is the interpretation of the following formula. And here we just copy the values from here and, com and compare them to the x values that we get from our data set. And what we can see here, if we want to evaluate this expression, is that we compare these falsy to our explicit values, but by definition this is always to be evaluated to false. So the value of this y over here is zero. And this is also the reason why we need to adjust here and redefine our theta to the minimal generalization of theta and x, our values. And in order to do that, we simply copy the values from our initial example. Okay, for the next iteration, example two, we first see that over here this condition C equals 1 is not fulfilled because we don't have an award-winning wine in our second example. So we can just write here yeah, C is not, um, is not 1 um, and yeah we skip this iteration. For example 3 the same applies we don't have one, we don't have uh, an award-winning wine, and we only want to learn in this find s algorithm from our um, positive examples. And for example four, we can again, because c is indeed one here, we can again compute this y as the interpretation, and now we again copy our values from this theta and compare them to our data point. And so far they seem to match up really well. But now we come to a dimension in which those values don't match which is over here. And this is something we need to address. And I also formally show you why. You can see we um, yeah, have and uh, junctors over here, which means that this whole expression evaluates to zero again. So we have to jump into this clause over here and again find a minimal generalization of our theta and get a new theta. So for these values, this is very easy because we still can just copy them. But for this value, in order to yeah, match both of them, we have to generalize, and this means adding a wildcard over here, a question mark, and then we're done. This is our final result.